Hey, it's Saturday, October 1st, and we are back up here. Haven't been up for two weeks. Haven't been able to get up here. We took uh, some time out of town. I had some uh, out of town work trips to do, so we haven't been able to get up here, but we are back today, and it is definitely fall. It's a drizzly, cloudy, cold day today, but um, so yeah, fall is here, and um, <laughs> she's happy. Um, but today we're going to continue on with these servo mounts. Um, we've got that pitch servo mount is installed there. That's the fuel pump mount. Uh, we have, just have that sitting there and then we've gonna finish up um, the roll servo mount. So we'll get going on that and um, see where we get. Oh, and something else for those of you that haven't got to the point of attaching the fuselage tail cone or the tail cone to the fuselage cage, uh, Eddie Gill over at Rand's put out a video this week, I think it was, a really good video showing how they put this together. Uh, boy, we sure wish that uh, he'd had that video out when we did it. I think we spent three weekends getting everything lined up and making sure everything was good, and he shows how they get it done in about 15 minutes uh, down at Rand's. So if you haven't got there yet, uh, look for Edmund Gill on YouTube and um, find that video. It's, uh, it's a good one. Hey, on this roll servo mount, um, I don't remember where I saw it. I saw it somewhere, but it uh, you have to shave the washers, the thin washers that go on there. You just got to file a little bit off the edge of those so that they fit in there uh, flat.
Pitch and roll servos are installed, ready to go. I just took the cable and wrapped it around the back for the roll servo and put a zip tie on there to hold them cables back until we get ready to install that. Got the pitch servo installed and uh, didn't put the forward and back stop limiters on it yet. We'll do that probably when we rig, uh, when we get everything rigged up. And didn't put the, we left the control, uh, the control stick connection arm uh, off of there. We'll, we'll do that later. And an FYI on this, when you do the install, these are the instructions. Let's see, these were the August 31st instructions of 2020 when we got the kit. Um, you're going to be short by 4, mm -hmm. by 4 AN364 1032A uh, shear nuts. You're going to be short four of those. They only send enough to do they, well they send enough to do all of this except for the clamps uh, that go on the aileron cable for some reason they don't didn't include that hardware so just remember that if they haven't updated your book if it's still showing 11 on page on this page um, you're gonna need more do we have enough bolts for it do they send enough bolts yeah, we just don't have the nuts. Okay, so the bolts are there, just don't have enough nuts. Well, it's fall, that's for sure. Uh, kind of misty, rainy today. You can barely see the top of the control tower over there. I think it's maybe a couple hundred feet, so the ceiling must be right down, right down on the deck. We're probably right at minimums for IFR today. Well, we are done for today, and as you saw, we got some uh, insulation prepped up here. It's all cut and fit uh, over on this side here, and. Um, yeah, uh, did those servo mounts and put the fuel pump mount plate, uh, put that back in. But um, yeah, not much to say other than that's what we got done. So uh, we'll be back tomorrow to pick this back up. Um, we still need to, we'll need to be getting it under there and cleaning that out and uh, getting that prepped for uh, adhesive so we can glue those, uh, glue those insulation panels in but um, yeah anything else you can think of that no all right hey thanks for watching have a good evening and that's it for now